Okay, fine. Just do it. So, I'm back, you guys, real quick. Um, I just saw this this video, right? This this recording. Uh, it was a live, right? <clears throat> this young man was parking his car. Um, young black man was parking his car, right? This is in where is it? Royal Oaks, Michigan. Okay. I don't know how long it was that it happened. I don't know. I, I just know my eyes saw it today, just a few minutes ago, uh, to be exact. <clears throat> I remember saying in one of my previous videos um, that the higher ups, that the elites, you know, them up there, we're about to be down here. Uh, they're trying to take us backwards in reverse. It's it, this is what I perceive. Okay, they're trying to mentally. Physically and emotionally, more mentally and emotionally, though, <clears throat> trying to push us back into slavery days. Okay? Hear me out. While, right? While the B system is coming in. Seems to me that they're trying to weaken as much as possible, weaken the masses, right? And more specifically, should I say black folks, right? Because we're the only ones that have this, that this happens to, okay? So let me speak to us, okay? In this situation. <clears throat> the young man was parking his car, okay? At a CVS, right? There was a Caucasian lady, okay? Sitting in her car, right? Who should have been minding her own business, right? But while the guy is parking his car, he just so happens to glance at the lady, you know, because he's parking his car. You know, I don't know how he's parking it back in the end, pulling for it, but it doesn't matter. We glance at people, we look at people, we're people, you know? can't help it this lady while she's hiding in her car and never gets off the car stays across the street the whole time this lady calls 911 and says that she feels threatened because this black man looked at her and he looks suspicious Didn't, didn't they just have in the media, uh, uh, and I mean by media, YouTube media, didn't they just have like a week or two, a few some odd weeks that they were talking about Emmett Till and the woman who lied on him and had him killed and her coming out saying that it was a lie and that she lied? But there's no prosecution, there's no persecution, there's no nothing. Scott free, right? But we know that she ain't getting away scot free, right? Cause God judges all, right? But in the world of men, she got off scot free. No matter how long it was ago, no matter nothing and I don't even now I get, I understand why they have a uh uh you know, when somebody, okay, like me, I was I was um, sexually abused growing up, right? They have a certain amount of years that you can go after that person before you can anymore. And that was in California, so I don't know how it is anywhere else. But what? Like if a person abuses you in your childhood and it doesn't come out until mid-adulthood or 
or later, there should be no stipulations on that. There should be no laws on the person that has done the offense to be protected. Because that's what it is. It's protection. What is it called? Holy Spirit, help me. Um, uh, but you, you guys know what I'm saying, right? You, um, you know what I'm saying, okay? Uh, <laughs> I just can't like for, for the life of me right now. Like I'm, I'm, I am. All of this is processing through my mind, okay? And from the looks of it, right? Been watchmen on the wall. From the looks of it, they're just precursors to something big that is on its way. Because if you notice. Doesn't it seem like, well, not seem like, but everything is happening all at once around the world right now. Everything is happening all at once. The Antichrist is about to be revealed. I ain't saying today or tomorrow, but I'm saying it's close. Obama and Michelle Obama. Michael. Whatever. Michael. They just had two giant portraits unveiled of them, right? At, at, at the White House. Why? Why? For what? They had portraits done of them when they were when they were in office. Why now? Cause something is about to be revealed. Something is about to be revealed. But on a bigger note, just be aware, okay? Be aware of your surroundings, okay? And this isn't to fear monger because we know that the Lord protects us at all times. But we have common sense, right? In order to use it. Be careful when, and I'm talking to people who look like me right now, okay? This is not to purposely exclude, you know, I'm not being facetious or anything, but this is the issue that we deal with. Okay, so this is who I'm speaking to. Be aware of your surroundings, okay? I'm not saying tiptoe, walk on eggshells, none of that, okay? Be who you are, okay? Who God made you to be. But be aware, just like you're aware spiritually of things, be aware physically, okay? Just like we use our spiritual eyes and ears, be aware physically as well, Okay? Perfect example, gang stalkers, right? We know that the people, right, that are being used to gang stalk, right, may not necessarily know each other. Most times, more uh, more than not, that they don't. Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It is those principalities, those demons, those demonic spirits, okay? Those fallen angels, okay? That take over so when people are watching you and making faces up at you and evil grins and smirks because remember these demons the kingdom of darkness knows who you are okay your child of God they know who you are in the spirit and whose you are. Like I said, we have like a we have a smell to us. We have an odor. Okay. <laughs> Look, I said we probably smell like fresh baked bread, okay? But seriously, they know us. 
They know, know who we are. The Lord says that you shall know them by their fruit. Okay. Now that's in a human, that's in a physical aspect. You should know them by their fruit. Okay. The things that they produce, the things that they are doing in their own lives, the example that they are or are not walking by. Okay, but it's also in the spiritual. As a matter of fact, it's in the spiritual first. So, when you get these nasty stares, these nasty looks, these these just demonic energy towards you, respond accordingly, okay? Not according to how they respond to you. According to how God taught you, okay, and trained you, okay, how to respond. Remember, there's a time and a season for everything. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's a time and a season for everything under the sun. And there's nothing new under the sun. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's nothing new under the sun. So pay attention, okay? Pay attention because you're being watched at all times. We are being watched at all times, even when you think you are not because you are just by yourself and you're isolated. You're still being watched. OK. We're God's children. They've been watching us <laughs> since we, since we were growing in the womb. OK. Romans 8, 28, for we all know that all things work together for them that love God and those who are called according to his purpose. I love you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Stay prayed up and be aware and attentive, okay? Talk to you guys later. Peace.